Mario 64 is one of those games that a whole slew of gamers love. Now I know a lot of us older gamers got to experience the game back in the day on the Nintendo 64, witnessing firsthand the revolution of 3D gaming right before our very eyes. Now, with numerous re-releases over the years, there are definitely a lot of different ways for fans to play the game, but never in HD, well, you know, officially at least. Until now, thanks to Super Mario 3D All-Stars on the Switch. Now, there's definitely a lot to like here with this version of the game, but it doesn't come without some letdowns. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Danny from the Famicast here. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications because today we're taking a look at Super Mario 64 in Super Mario 3D All-Stars on the Nintendo Switch. Controls in Super Mario 64 on the Switch feel as good as ever. Movement is sharp, jumps are precise, and everything generally just feels great. Now the camera system in the game, based on the C buttons from the Nintendo 64 controller, typically do get the job done, but definitely could have used a bit of an upgrade to truly transform Super Mario 64 into a modern game. That's not to say things here are bad. I mean, usually the camera angles that are available are more than enough to suffice and basically get you to where you need to get going. Still, it definitely would have been really nice to have more free control here, but this is likely some kind of a limitation of the emulation and just everything that the team uh, did when they were putting this package together. Visually, Super Mario 64 has never looked officially better. So several of the in-game textures have been touched up here and the HD coat of paint here really makes the game from, it's kind of hard to believe, from nearly two decades ago look pretty nice. The game also runs at a smooth constant frame rate and rarely suffers from any slowdown, or at least I haven't experienced any slowdown from my time with the game so far. Now there are some disappointing things here and these are some things that we knew before going into the release. So Mario 64 only runs at 720p and only supports a 4x3 aspect ratio. Now I'm not going to try to defend this decision, especially when there are other N64 ports out on the Switch that support not only 1080p and widescreen, but also 60 frames a second in their games. Things like Turok, Doom 64, Episode and Run Racer, just to name a few. I mean sure, these are completely different companies using likely different methods to breathe life back into these old games. But it's just another case of Nintendo being Nintendo about things, which can be frustrating as a fan, as I'm sure many of you guys are out there as well. Now let me end this negativity here by, by saying this. Mario 64 still does look nice here, but it just seems like a bit of a missed opportunity with the lack of enhancements. Now I've mentioned this in my other videos about the games in the Mario 3D All-Stars collection, but let's take a trip down memory lane here a bit for Mario 64. So the game was originally released in Japan on June 23rd, 1996, followed by a North American release on September 29th, and then a European release on March 1st, 1997. Now one thing that you may not know is that Super Mario 64 actually saw an updated release in Japan in July of 97. Now, along with adding a few things from the English release of the game, namely like some of the, the voice work stuff, uh, this version is dubbed the Shindo Pak Taiyo Bajon, or in other words, a Rumble Pack enhanced version of Mario 64. Now, actually, the version of the game used in Mario 3D All Stars appears to be based on that version of the game. You could kind of tell this from that title screen that kind of pops up there just briefly, which lists both the years 1996 and 1997. You should be looking at a video of a small clip from the actual N64 cart version and then, right now, of the Switch version as well, so you could kind of see that there. Now speaking of the Japan-only Rumble version of the game, here's a look at the packaging, the card, and the, a comparison to the original Japanese release as well as the North American release here too. Now you can see that the original Japanese and North American versions feature similar cover art, with the main difference here being the white background with the Japanese version. Now the Rumble Pack version features different key art on the cover, also a white background, but the, the art here in the middle, you can see Bowser and Mario standing back to back here. And it also has a tagline right in the middle where it says, "Let's basically, let's get shaken with the Rumble Pack uh, right in the middle there. Now, if you're actually hunting down the Rumble version, the Japanese Rumble version that we're showing off here, you know, it can actually be had for pretty cheap inside of Japan. I've seen it for less than a thousand yen, less than like 10 USD for a complete box version of the game with the manuals and everything. Now, of course, your mileage may vary if you're buying from outside of Japan. So if this is something you're on the hunt for, good luck to you guys. Super Mario 64 in Super Mario 3D All-Stars is still a great game, and it's, it's really a great way to play a true classic. While it would have been nice to see a few more bells and whistles added to the package, it just wasn't in the cards. There's a lot of fun to be had, but quite a lot left on the table. As always, 
Thanks for checking out this video. If you like what you see, please feel free to give us a like. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. We've got tons of podcasts, reviews, retro content, and a whole lot more. Again, this is Danny from the Famicast. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.